a customer a few years ago that um, wanted to do more business with us. And so they, they asked for an early morning meeting. We, we went down there, our top management team, we, we went down to meet with them. They once again reiterated that they wanted to do business with, they wanted to do more business with us, but they said, we got a problem. You know, you're not delivering the service that you used to. We're not getting the reports out of you that we, we were supposed to get. You haven't even billed us. Oh. You know, you're, you're, you're running behind on billings. And, and they were right. They were absolutely right. And um, what, what we knew that they didn't know was they weren't the only customer in that position. And so we went back and, you know, we said, okay, what do we do about this right now? And, and so we, we said, look, one of the things is let's not make this too complex. Let's focus on this customer only. And let's see what we can do to solve them. So how do we make sure we, we, you know, increase the service? What are our service standards? What do we expect? We talked to our service team, said, here's what we need to do. What do we do about getting the reports out? What do we do about getting the billing out? And, and we kept it simple. We started, you know, implementing new processes that we would deliver it for that customer. Once we put them in place, once we were sure that they worked, then we started expanding it. Now, I think my point is, as you're growing, Things start, things start to fall apart. You know, you, you may outgrow a system. You may outgrow your people. You may not have enough people. Um, you may not have the right people. So you, you've got to step back every once in a while and look at it and say, okay, how do we do it better? You know, how, how can we deliver service faster? How can we do it cheaper? How can we bring a better customer experience? So that, it popped into my head and I wanted to answer that because I think that's a challenge is, is staying up with your growth. Yeah. So how is success similar to wrapping paper? Um, you, you need to be creative. You need to have some discipline. So you need to fold the corners right. You need to, to you know, get use the tape and everything. And then you want to put a nice bow on it. You want to make sure that you've got a good presentation. Um, and so you're, there's a lot of mechanics behind it. But at the end, you, you, you somebody goes, wow, that's beautiful. I really like that. Thank you so much for caring. Awesome. That is how success is like uh, wrapping paper. 